Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining me. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a simple website for a dog walking service using the platform Mighty Sites. So today, we're going to walk through, and really, there's a lot of great businesses starting up uh, like dog walking services where you have a great business going, but maybe there's you know difficulty in finding the right website platform or a template for yourself. So that's what this platform's for. It's got a dog walking service website template. It's a simple one page website template. We're gonna show how to put that together today, actually using a dog walking business that does not have a website currently. And just show you how you would go about building a website quickly and easily create a nice professional, simple one page website, because really your website is your online business card. And so as you're starting this business, Facebook's great, reviews are great, a website really ties those things together, gives you something when you hand out business cards in the physical world, or you wanna do a brochure, or just even talk about your business or let people you know, text the link to your website back and forth to refer you, gives you a great way to get customers and kind of have that online business card. So I'm going to <clears throat> share my screen and show you right here, this business, which is a dog walking service uh, here locally. So wag, walk, repeat. And you can see that they have a uh, Google profile with some great reviews. So this is obviously a, a person that does an awesome job with this. Um, but you can see missing information at a website. So that's the first thing that consumers see when they search the business name. Now, the other problem is if you search the business, or if you just search for a dog walker, because they don't have a website and they don't have a website here linked to anything, they show up further down the page. So a website is going to help influence those Google rankings too for new customers looking for the service. So you can see they do have an Instagram, which is great. Um, and if I scroll down here, you can see there's a Facebook page that, that is down here <clears throat> halfway down the page. So I'm, I'm actually going to jump over here to Mighty Sites. Um, this is the website. You can just go right here and click on start free trial up here in the top right or launch. It's a really easy way to create a one page website for a local business. So dog walker is a great example. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to look for the dog walker website template. Here it is. And I'll just start by putting in the company name. So it's wag walk repeat, wag walk repeat. And let's put in their location. Looks like See, this is even tough. So you can see if I'm a consumer, it's tough to know exactly where they are, where they serve, right? Because um, I don't know their exact address. So it looks like it's somewhere over here. Let's see if we can look on the Facebook page. So it says Denver, Colorado here. And actually here's a link on their Facebook page to the website. So it says the website can't be reached. So they don't actually have a domain name, but they don't ha haven't connected it to a website, right? So if I'm a consumer, I try to click on that. A website's a way that people use to find out more about a business, kind of understand exactly what they offer, who they are. Um, but you see, we can't access it there. So I'm going to jump back over here. <clears throat> and now I know they're in Denver, Colorado. So I'm going to put in Denver, Colorado. Uh, type of business. If you're offering dog walking service, that's a service business. So I'm going to click continue. And just like that, Mighty Sites is going to create a simple professional website template for my business. So again, I didn't have to do any coding or website building. And all of a sudden, just like that, a simple template was generated for me to make this process of creating a website for my business super straightforward and easy, right? And here's even a, a nice little... Uh, uh, form so that potential customers who find me, it gives them an easy way to contact me, right? Because even right now, if I'm looking up, if I if I know the business name, so I might become a customer and I look up their business name, it's not exactly clear to me, you know, you don't, you know, maybe I contact them for through social media or I could call. There's not really a website. There's not like an easy contact form to request information. So your website also gives you a really nice way to invite people to contact you. So uh, what I can do now is I'll start filling in the template. So let me move this over here. I'm going to start with the top section and just click on update section. I've got the name, <clears throat> city, state. I don't think the address uh, is listed anywhere, so that's fine. But we've got a phone number right here, which is listed publicly. So we'll want to add that to the website. So let me uh, go over here to phone number, plug that in and save. And now you can see the phone number populates right there at the top. I did see on the Facebook page, so I'm just going to open this in a new tab. I did see that there was an email address here as well. So I'm going to copy the email address and put the organization's email right here. And then you can choose whether you want the email to show on the site or not, um, because they made theirs public on Facebook. I'm going to have it show there on the site. So I'm gonna save that. So now we've got some great contact information, make it easy for people to contact right at the top. 
We did see that they have a Facebook page, of course. So I'm gonna copy the link for the Facebook page, put that in the Facebook page box. And now there's a nice Facebook logo with a link to them. I saw that they have an Instagram as well. So I'm gonna open the Instagram in a new tab and copy it. I go right over here and paste it right into the Instagram box. And now you can see the Instagram and Facebook both populate. So I'm gonna click on save social links and close. So now that top header is starting to look really professional, uh, easy way to contact them. And then you, you know now, now we can move on to the next section. So the update section next, you can update your logo here. You can update any menu items. You can update your location information. So I'm gonna focus here. We've got the name, but it'd be really nice if there was a logo. Now I don't see a logo on here. Let's just click to see there was a logo at any point. No, it looks like it's just just the picture. So a logo serves a really great purpose in that it gives people an easy way to kind of remember you, right? If they look, and that's why we know logos, we know those brands like Coca-Cola or anything like that, because we can instantly recognize and know who that is, right? It creates that credibility, just like a website does. A logo creates that credibility for your business. So one of the things I like to do when I see that there's not a logo is introduce Canva. So Canva is a really easy way to create a logo for a business. So I'm just gonna click here on logo and it's going to give me all sorts of templates. Many of them are free. Um, let's just see if we can, if there's anything related to Pat. Yeah, so here's here's a great, you know, some great logos here. We can pick whichever one we like. Um, and again, you, you know, you pay like a, a small fee or you can get some of these for free too. So I'm just gonna go with uh, the first one here because that was the first one that popped up for me and uh, established 2022. Let's see. I don't see much info here, so I'm not sure when it was established. We'll just leave that for now, but obviously you'd want to customize that to exactly when you're started. And then it was WAG, walk, and then put right below, repeat. So kind of create a nice little logo here. That was super quick and easy for me to do. Now, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to resize this, I think, because we want to um, kind of cut off the top and the middle here. I think that, well, actually let's do that in the tool. So we'll, we'll we won't worry about that for now. I'm going to download this, um, probably as a JPEG. So it's a smaller file. I'm just going to download it now and wag walk. You can see it there. So I'm going to jump back over to mighty sites, browse and upload my logo. So it should be my downloads folder. There it is. And now we've got a simple logo for the business. And that took what, less than a minute and a half. Um, so we're building the website and we're making the logo. Now you can use these tools to make it bigger or make it smaller. Like I'd mentioned, I think I want to make a few edits to this. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm actually going to use the cropping tool. So if you can see how I did that, I just clicked on this little pencil and built into Mighty Sites are all these great tools. Um, so you can do, you know, frames or redact or annotate, fine tune, create filters. So you can edit this for any images or logos or anything like that, that you create in Mighty Sites. So I'm just going to go like this, kind of make that a little bit uh, shorter. And then I'm going to click done. And now it's going to crop that image for me and re-upload it automatically. And I click on save logo, close. And now I kind of like the look of that a, a little bit better. So again, if you if you want, you can always make it a little bit bigger too. Might be nice. Um, or you can you know make it smaller. Just play around with it. Use any of these editing tools. You can pretty much use these editing tools to make it look exactly how you want. So you can see why walk repeat looks really good there. Now, if you're if you want to get rid of this white background, I think that's worth showcasing for you too. So that's when you download the file as a PNG, and then you click right here in Canva on transparent background, and then download it. And now I can go back over here. I can update the section. This section, I'll get rid of that version. Browse my computer, and then I'll select the PNG version. save. And now you can see I have a logo with no background. So I actually, I think that looks pretty nice. And now we're going to need to do the same exercise that we just did where we crop this. So I'm going to crop it down here, crop it like this and click done and save. And now it, now it's there without a background. So, right. That was pretty, pretty straightforward and easy to upload the logo. I'll probably make it just a touch smaller 
upload the logo, close, and now we've got a really professional header, right? So we're off to a great start. Now, there will be an option to edit this so that you can put a like a call to action, a title, a little bit more about yourself there. You can upload new images, um, but I think these images are pretty sufficient for a dog walking service too. So uh, if I want to add more item links or things like that, I can do that here quickly and easily. But I think that that is pretty good for right now. Um, so you can see I have experienced dog walking. So there's there's basic content that's already going to be filled in here for you to just make this easier to get started um, because we know that it can be really time consuming to build a website. So we, uh, we pre-populate it with content that's really relevant. Um, because they have a phone number, I'm actually going to change this contact us from the contact form uh, to maybe just to call them, right? A click to call. I'm going to confirm and save that and close it. Now, when someone visits this site on a smartphone, which many will do, and they click on that contact us, it's automatically going to call the business too. So that phone number that's listed online for them. So that gives a really nice, easy way to do that. And then what I did notice, which we talked about, was they had really great reviews here. So let's check out some of these reviews and, and hear a little bit more. So very complimentary of this business. Um, let's see if we can fix. Let's see if we can pick one of these. Yeah, I mean, this is this is great. Um, this is a really nice testimonial about this business and the business owner. So I'm going to copy this. And sometimes I like to customize the template right here, the one page dog walker website template by using a testimonial. So here, what our customers have to say, right? Um, so that's a nice, probably put that in bold, um, or maybe I'll put that in italics. And then right underneath it, <clears throat> I'm going to paste in that testimonial. I'm going to get rid of the styling by clicking on that text X button. And then I'm going to put the some quotes around it so people know. And then let's see what the person who publicly said it. So here's the person's name, Catherine. So let's add Catherine in here as well. Her credit for her quote. Unlink it. Rid of styling. Okay. So now you can see we've got a really nice testimonial there. And, you know, because they have such great testimonials, it doesn't hurt to add another. So let's go check out some other ones. Let's see. Yeah. So here's another really nice testimonial, just reassuring for people about the quality of care that their pets will receive when she's providing the service. So let's go like this and remove that. Put in the person who commented this as well. So this is Nicole. And paste that. And again, get rid of the link, get rid of the styling so it matches. So now we've got a really nice couple of testimonials there. And again, your website's about building credibility and trust, highlighting these for people. They may not go read those Google reviews, but now if they found your website, first thing is they're, they're going to see is a very professional area above the fold here. And then they're going to see some really nice testimonials about your business. And so as I scroll down, let's just see, sometimes there's an about section on Facebook pages. Let's see if we have anything there. Um, I don't see anything in this section. So this is usually where we'll use the default unless we find something here. So I think that we could probably use something like this to supplement it. It was part of the Instagram section. So I'm going to go in here. This is all generics. Uh, we're just going to put for many years because we don't know the date here. Years. And then let's add this, you know, little section here too, which, you know, maybe we'll even uh, put that there like that. We'll use something like this to create some bullet points. Just I'm just putting in a, a dash. And then let's save and see how that looks. Yeah, I like that. And let's do this too to get rid of that styling. So now we will have to do this one more time. Enter these dashes. Okay, now let's save it. 
Yeah. So that, that, that's really nice. That kind of creates a little bit uh, more uh, customization, personal personalization there as well. Um, and then of course, I'm not going to add this person's picture, but they have pictures of themselves too. So, you know, they could, they could of course add pictures of themselves here. Yeah. Any of these pictures from Facebook might be great. Uh, any of the pictures from Instagram uh, could be really nice too. Um, or they can just use the generic photos to make things easier. And again, they have all those editing uh, tools too. So this is where they would list their services. So if they if they want to highlight anything that they do specifically or makes them different or anything about their route or playing or pet sitting, they could list any of those services as well um, in this section of the site. So once that all looks good, you're pretty much ready to go with a simple professional website that gets your business online and gives you all the benefits of having a, a small business website. Now, again, this is only $9 a month, so it's super affordable great way. You, you make that return back, uh, no problem, because all you have to do is pretty much find one customer uh, and you you make the money back for almost a whole year of the web hosting and the website template. Now, if you want to change any of the colors, I think these colors look pretty nice, but if you want to change any of the colors of the site, there are all these different color themes available here too. So you can just click through and select the one that you like best for your website. Um, but I think this one looks pretty sharp. So we'll leave it at that, but you can always just play around and you can change the colors of your website as often as you like to. So <clears throat> once that's done, I can click on stop editing, kind of see what the website's going to look like without those tabs. And again, it looks really simple and professional. I can add more tabs here if I want to. I've got now a really nice website that represents my business that I can use to market myself better. And when people uh, are interested in my services, they can go right here and... Type in their information. Say, I am in need of dog walking services. And I click send. They'll get a little message that their, their message is sent. And then you, as the owner, can go back in here and you'll see new leads for your business services. So if I jump in right here, I can view leads. And now I can see in this dashboard all the people who have requested services with their email and their phone number so that I can get right back to them and uh, get in touch with them. Now, once I'm ready, I connect my domain. So if you have a domain from GoDaddy or Google or any of those services, you can connect those right here. It's super easy to do. It'll give you the information and your website will come with a secure certificate from Mighty Sites too. So you'll have a secure website. And then if you have any questions along the way, there's a little messenger here so you can just chat and get some help. Um, but once it's ready to go, you are good to go to launch your website for your business and get started attracting more customers online for your dog walking service. So that's the dog walking uh, website template. It's a one page website template that just is super affordable, easy to help you launch and grow your business.